Wrestling fans around the corner, around the world, it's getting close to that time. You're getting your Halloween decorations. The leaves are changing colors, but more important, Marty, everybody in the Northeast is coming to see you, cool. Slick, and so many more. Saturday night, November the 13th, it, it, Memorial it, Hall, two blocks down yeah. the road that way. And it I, gets feeling a little warm and fuzzy. We're going to blow the roof off of Memorial Hall in Melrose on November the 13th and, and, and as we celebrate not one, but two decades of Boston wrestling for back to the 80s WrestleFest. I, I've been wrestling for like 30 years. Well, we'll have and a Marty Jannetty. I can't Gennetti wait night. for the show. It's going to be the one of the best ever. So I'm Dan Marotti. MJ up in the house. Wrestling inside his party with Marty is next. You said party with Marty? Party with Marty. Tickets are on sale now for our 20th anniversary Back to the 80s and 90s WrestleFest Birthday Bash, Saturday, November the 13th at Memorial Hall in Melrose, Massachusetts. <laughs> Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. On the world, welcome to Wrestling Inside. It's Dan Roddy, Mighty Gennetti as we continue to roll through fall. Summer went by kind of quick. Soon we're going to need those winter coats. Hopefully not on November 13th, though. We want to have a nice night. That's everybody. going to be a good one. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be a great that, one. Y'all got to see that show because I'm on it, but I want to see all my boys. I can't wait to see Hacksaw. I'm not sure what it's going to look like by the time this show airs in October, but as we're what, taping this. Why is that? Well, I'm just trying to go by ticket sales. The VIP packages have been moving fantastic. Thank you to each and every one of you. More than half of them are gone. And John Cena Sr., it is on tape, has promised if we sell out of them within a reasonable amount of time before the event, he's, he's promised us something big for the eighth featured superstar. So well, what do you, if what you do you guys promise? get those VIPs quick, I mean, if we sell out of them three days in advance, we need to have someone advertised by that point. You know what I mean? Where's my phone? Uh, it's over there. In the there. United States of America. <laughs> it's over there, though. It's somewhere in this studio. All right. No, you know you got it. <laughs> All right, well, uh, never. All right, All right, you don't need to destroy the table, Marty. What do you think this is, ECW? <laughs> Come on. Um, <laughs> anyway, we're having fun. We're talking Survivor Series 1990. Marty, one of the big things hyped up for Survivor Series 1990, right down the road in Hartford, Connecticut, that uh, Socko goes through oh, on his big adventures to the studio. Um the gobbly, oh, I, not the gobbly gooker, the but the big gobbler, egg itself. Yeah. What, did, um, what did you guys know what was coming out of that big egg? No, they didn't tell us. But what here, do, what here, were the boys here. thinking about the big egg? Well, I mean, uh, y'all don't hold this against me, but and Lanny, I love you. Lanny, that's the first time I saw Lanny suck his dick. At Survivor Series? Oh, uh, yeah. Or yeah. in the egg? Uh, did he, he do it in the egg? It was in his dressing room. Oh, I don't right, remember right. in or not. But... And he stretched it. He did this. He was like, because somebody challenged him. Like, can you do it? They challenged him. To yeah, give himself can a you still service. suck? Because every day he could suck. Or I say suck his dick. He could put it in his mouth. This is horrible. Now, do you think if he kind of laid down on the floor and rolled himself in a ball, he could have gone a that little further? That was Sean. Sean did that. Sean fingered himself. What? Oh shit! You, you've mentioned that before. Yeah. But um, oh, Lanny would do this. He would he would like stretch it out. And then you go, <clears throat> and then put, ow, shit, that hurt. My ankle. you got to watch your feet, buddy. Fuck. I don't want you to get hurt, because you know what that, happens that at that good. point. Yeah, that And if we go good. downhill, and it turns into something not as much fun as we're having right now. Um, and we're having fun, and we're rocking, baby. L uh, Lanny, Lanny can't put his, that's just horrible to tell. Do you think he's doing it now, now that he's in Ecuador? Do you think he has more Ecuador. privacy to service himself? Ecuador. Yeah, he moved to Ecuador. He no, left the country. Did not. Yes, he did. Why Ecuador? I don't know. Yeah. He gets he's involved in some kind of a real estate deal. As much there. as I love Lanny, that sounds yeah. some like fucked up shit he would do. Ecuador. Lanny is what the fuck? We had Lanny here one time did and you, really nice guy. Super, but one of the oddest bigger. we've ever had, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, I tell you this. Why do you why you say that? Did he, did he do it? No, no, he didn't do it. But um, he literally, we went to Kowloon, 
and when they brought the bill over, we owe her too. he looked like the road runner. I mean, he almost left skid marks on the floor. He ran from the bill so fast. I've never seen anything like it. You know, you know what he would do, uh, uh, oh, Macho, you know, as his brother. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Randy, Randy, they used to love saving money. We all did because you, you know you saved it. And there's know. nothing wrong with saving money, yeah, but, with, but you know what? Realistically, Lanny would, would always let's see if he expect the table. Lanny would okay. always expect Randy to you know get, you know, get a room for both of them. And Randy Lanny not, wanted to sneak into Randy's room for yeah, free, yeah. get a double yeah, room, double and, bed, and, even and with Ra Liz. And Randy was like this. Now nah, get your own goddamn room. But you know, you know what Lanny would do? We would see him so often. We go like uh, to the hotel. Pretend like he's hanging out in the lobby. And he's laying there on the damn couch <laughs> in the lobby. <laughs> I mean, how embarrassing! A WWF superstar, so cheap that they're sleeping on the couch in some Motel 6 <laughs> lobby. It wasn't Motel 6, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but w what did you guys think? You was ain't gonna... got no shoes on. Yeah, I, I heard him squeak. I'm going to say he does. You heard that? But um, our, our, what our were producer. You, were you guys kind of buzzing? What's coming out of the egg? What's going to be in the egg? Were you interested? Sometimes Randy would park on the, because we used to, way back in the old days, uh, it was four cents a mile. And then let me take one of these. What are these called? Stack it's of three. drugs. Stack of three that you get at the dollar store in Georgia. <laughs> then you said that they don't make no more. <laughs> I, th I literally thought they went out of business 20 years ago. I didn't know they still existed. <laughs> Where's my drink? I have no idea. Five oh, Marty, mother of God. I got, I got some water. That's all right. Good. You can wash it down. That'd be like saying to me that but, um, Tab so, was coming back into business in the soda industry. But, oh, because oh, um, we paid four Let, cents yeah. back in the day. Here. That goes up. Yeah. Let's see. Four right. cents. Oh, yeah, do That's all right. Thank you, Marty, for four the cents, ninth time. Four cents a mile back yeah. in the day. Do you remember that? Um, I was never in that position, but I, I, I'm familiar with it. Yeah. You know about it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, four cents a mile, way back, this is way back, probably five cents now. You know, like if you had to go 100 or 200 miles, yeah, it the driver, sure. you know, because it was gas money. We wouldn't sure. try, try to make money off each other. No, but, to try and do it fairly. But Randy would park on... Please don't touch it. Uh, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch anything. <laughs> Just don't move. Just sit still. <laughs> I'm going to tie you to the chair like you're oh being kidnapped. God. And you're <laughs> going to tell your stories. Randy, would he would park on this side of the parking lot. Just to try and get a little extra? Uh, yes. One more mile? <laughs> <laughs> but they were good about their money. Um, you know. Well, I mean, they saved and they were all well off, you know, so. Do you know, the, uh, the co you know how the copper wire, you heard about that? Oh, the penny? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Copper wire was invented by two promoters squeezing the fuck out of a penny. <laughs> well, you know what? Hey, some promotions did a heck of a lot better than others, I guess. So if you were the Nick Goulas type, well, it was really stressful. How you know Nick? I, I know I've heard so many stories I got, of I, him from the guys. I got to tell you something. All right. Uh, Pat O'Connor, I got mad at one night. Why? Now that was a that was a, a promotion that drew very well. And the, I would guess the payoff should have been very good. Yeah, it was for what we it were doing. It was a good payoff in St. Louis? Yeah. All right. Yeah, to kill all the time, yeah. Mushnick, I was told, was fair. Huh? Very fair. Sam Mushnick. Yeah, how do you know all these names? Because I know all the promotions. I know Don Owens, even though it wasn't... Pretty a, good, man. He's pretty good. Don <laughs> Owens in Portland, even though it wasn't a big money territory, what? as far as the percentage he paid, I was told, was very good. Is my and I was told that Paul Bosch was a very good payoff guy down oh, in Houston. Oh, I, I didn't know him. I didn't and know. I was told Vince Sr. was a very good payoff guy. Yeah, Yeah, everybody liked him. Yeah. Snooker did. Um, and Snooker is my brother. Does my hair look good? Your hair looks great. Okay, back to the gobbly. Oh, wait, okay. we finished your story time, first. One yeah. time we wrestled. He didn't like Pat O'Connor. What happened? Well, he, he was, eh. one, time, one time he got a little ugly, and he was supposed to be, you know, Mr. Pat O'Connor. And, and, and I was like, what? who the fuck's that to me? You know, because he was Pat O'Connor meant nothing to you. I wouldn't say that. All right. 
But um, he didn't one mean a time, lot. one time, St. Louis. We had a, a yeah. You know, we wrestled there. There was always twenty. It was it held twenty thousand or fifteen thousand. Wasn't on. that the Checker Dome? No, the no, 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 no. That was a hockey place down the street. They did wrestle. They, there. They'd run the bigger events yeah, at the Checker Dome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Keel was fucking famous. Oh, the Keel is yes. far more famous because yes. that was their regular spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for the big events, I think they did Checker Dome. Maybe uh, for the big uh, yeah, a couple times a year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what happened was, <laughs> um, there was this girl. <laughs> it always starts with that. <laughs> no, it's true, though. What what had happened was, I shouldn't be telling this on TV. It's okay. It's like 30 years yeah, later. Yeah, Pat O'Connor, I think, is a long gone. Well, I'm still point. mad at him. But, well, um, go ahead. Get your revenge. <laughs> well, well, here's what happened, though. This, it was a little bit crazy, and it was when I first started wrestling. I don't do this no more. We was doing cocaine. We was drinking a lot of a lot of drink. Where's our drink at? I think Angelo took it. Where'd you go? But so, um, this girl. I mean, she was so pretty. Yeah. And she wanted to go. We lived in Kansas City. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a four-hour drive down I-70. And that was a poor-paying territory. Uh, sort of. Kansas. It wasn't Bob that bad. Geigle. Wasn't that bad? No, or for really? me. Oh. Well, for I've been told by a lot of the guys it was a poor territory. Okay, well, your opinion, it was good. It, it right. was worse. Well, it was, was uh, the Jairus. Would you worse. say fair or good? Huh? Would you say fair or good? Fair. Fair, okay. Um, but so we, we was coming back, we was going back to um, St. Louis, the rest of that thing, and this, this pretty young girl, um, can I call her a whore? If you want to. I don't want to, because she was kind of nice. Yeah, she was a nice whore. A nice whore. Well, you know what? To be fair, on our board of directors, Mark Dustin one time told Quincy Rastani <laughs> some of the nicest women he knew were whores. So <laughs> there can be nice ones. But, but this right here, and y'all can look it up. It might be on Google. The, she got in the car with us and drove back to Kansas City, which was like a four or three and a half hour drive. And on the way, he always passed the boys. And I'll tell you a Harley Race story in a minute. But um, you pass the boys, right? Because it's four hours and you, you're going to pass each other. And, and, you know, if you're on the same route, we all lived in Kansas City. But she was, um, she, we got drunk. All of us got drunk. Can you imagine that? Never. And, and she, well, she got drunker than we did. And she was this. And Bob Geigel, your buddy, she was, it was, I love him, man. I love Bob. Um, but we saw him, and, and I, was, I was like blowing the horn. I was telling her, show him, show him. And she pulled her you know, tits out, and he, and he looked, and he just smiled. <laughs> well, I've enjoyed the breasts. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 but here's, here was the bad part. When we got back to um, Kansas City, um, and my partner at the time was Tommy Rogers, um, we, we went up to the room. We, this is horrible. We both, I can't say it. Yeah, we, you can. You sure? Yeah. We, you sure? Yeah. We both had sex with her. You and Bob Geigel? No, oh no, Tommy. Oh. Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're horrible, brother. You and Bob Geigel, <laughs> my God. I love him, man. Don't talk yeah. about it. But we, we, it was a bad area. Uh, it was at the hotel, mm. um, and, and a Capri Hotel is what it was called. And it wasn't in the good section of Kansas City. It's downtown. Be careful, please. Oh, what am I doing? I just don't want you to knock the pictures over. Again. Let me knock something over. No, please. You've done enough knocking. Okay. But we, this still gets talked to about, I think I've told you, I might have told you. But um, it, it wasn't the nicest, it wasn't the, it wasn't the, what are you doing, Matt, Daddy? He's giving me the, the signal for the end of the first segment. Change them damn So hurry shorts. up. Come on. we got to get, okay. we gotta get through right, so, this. So we was, you know, we were having sex, uh, me and her. And Tommy was waiting on the other bed, you know, yeah. like a double thing. He was, like, like you got, he thank was you a gentleman. Me. He let thank you go you. first. Yeah, thank you for getting that. Uh, that was a nice room you got me. Oh, good. Thank you. I'm glad you, you like it. I like yeah. that place. Yeah. Um, Holiday Inn Express is wonderful. Yeah, but that girl that came. Oh. To, Char Charlie came first. Uh, no, well, I don't mean like that. Oh, all right. well, you told me the story uh, a little while ago that there's been some I didn't some mean, activity. I did not mean it like that. Some activity. <laughs> yeah, 
It was a lot. And All right, well. But anyway, um, she um, she came to the room and 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 from she rode with us from St. Louis, and you know, you know I ended up accidentally fuck. Uh, accidentally, sorry. yeah. Sorry to say this, I'm, I, I'm fucking her. That's horrible. I'm sorry. Yeah. How you how you say it nicer? Sex. Intercourse. Sex. But um. Little intercourse. Yeah. I'm we'll go with it. And it, like I said, it wasn't a good area of town. Yeah. Uh, excuse my language, but I guess that has got to be real right now. I was fucking the hell out of her, yeah. and her leg fell off. She, she had a peg leg? Yes, she had from knee down. Now, did you know it was a peg? No. Really? No. You had a Colonel DeBeers no, I No, it did like this. Oh, no. It, 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 and I thought somebody was trying to <sighs> break in. And, and Tommy was in the other bed, and he jumped up because we thought because it was a bad area, it was a bad hood, and and uh uh uh, you know. <laughs> That's one way to put something, it. Something. What the fuck? <laughs> and her leg fell off because you know I was I was going pretty good. Did at it roll it. to the floor? No, it just bounced a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am not supposed to tell you all this. That's all right. But her her. <laughs> Her peg. Oh, her man. peg. What happened to the peg? Her leg. Her leg. Her leg. Because yeah. it was from here down. Yeah. But it was waving, and she was embarrassed. Yeah. You can imagine. Now, was it all stump at this point? What? 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 I actually left. I didn't know you what left? to do. You left. Yeah. So I you let Tommy to Rogers finish. What was her? I supposed to do? Use Pick the her stump? leg up and give I it back. Know. I don't know. <laughs> I've never been in I that ran, position. I ran, brother. I went down you to the car. You ran? Yes. You literally ran <laughs> yes. from the woman with the I bed? I got in the car and left. <laughs> you got in the car and left? Yeah. Wow, you what really were you? offended. What would you do? It would there depend on the situation it's, and the person. Has that I ever think. happened to you? No, I oh, have yeah, never I, had a woman with a peg too. leg. <laughs> the only peg leg I ever knew, one was in Baja Maine, and the second one was Kamala, who I tried to get new legs well, for until him. he jobbed me out. Boy. Well, he jobbed me out. He, guess what? He lost he didn't his legs. Job you out. He sure did. He sure did. Biggest mistake of his life. It cost him two legs instead of being stuck in a wheelchair. Ankles. For all the no pegs, uh, or stumps. I mean, you know, WWE was willing to get him those legs until he made some foolish mistakes. See, you're going negative again. So uh, the girl's leg fell off. That was the accident because <laughs> I was fucking the hell out of it. Excuse my language. Um, the suction you know, wore like, off. If y'all don't get mad at me, I, I like I actually like like pulling the girls' you legs like one? Oh. and put them over the shoulders. I like to drill. Is it called? It's called drilling. I ain't said. We ain't, why are we talking about this? We but were started like, with Survivor like Series but ninety, leg, but I guess her leg I didn't did survive. I did not know I, when I heard that. <laughs> I thought somebody's fucking around, and Tommy jumped up too. And, 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 and then we saw her leg on the floor. I thought you were going to tell me your leg was going to come out of the egg with the gobbledygook. <laughs> her leg was laying there, but I, just, I didn't know what to do. What do you do? What do you do with it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, do you, you know what I did? It? I went and ran to my car. I went home. Because <laughs> it was a whole You were horrified by whole, this yeah. leg. And, 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 and then the next day, what I What did came, Tommy Rogers do? But did I'm he gonna finish tell you, the job? Y'all oh, okay. can look this up. You think I'm lying? Look it up. I came back the next morning. Yeah. And uh, to see if it was back on. Or? No, no, or just to see what happened. And and Tommy was they were sitting they were out on the balcony, you know, looking uh, Tom Shaft, uh, big big black brother. There was a bad boy. Um, they're sitting out there over the balcony like this, and they they never. I pulled up and they're like, "That was fucked up. That was fucked up, man." They were angry with you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, because Tom, Tommy. Feel uncomfortable. Well, Tommy had to deal with it. I, I got the fuck in the car and left. <laughs> Tommy, uh, Tommy, Tommy had, had a little to, heat. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's what she did though. What did she do? She got a she got a ride back to uh, St. Louis. So and she wasn't even there. Here, no. Oh. And here, but here's the thing, and y'all can look it up. I promise you, it's in, in Google it. Uh, her, she, uh, she was the daughter of the people for. Um, the big airline company, um, Boeing. Boeing, because Boeing's real big in St. Louis, 
and and she she told everybody in St. Louis that she got kidnapped and raped, and her you know her daddy went through all this. Bob Geigel, your friend, Bob Geigel was like, because he saw her titties. Remember? Yes, he saw the breasts. Yeah, and he and he said, "Don't say a word. Don't say nothing." And we did. So we did not. Out of it? We did not. Let me tell you what else happened. Though we did. We, of course, we didn't kidnap her. She wanted to come to. She wanted to ride with us. But next time we had to wrestle in St. Louis, you know, we had our match and we're getting out of the ring, and there she is taking pictures as we're getting down. I'm like, ah, goddamn. <laughs> did you think about maybe doing the angle that Kevin Nash did with Butcher Vachon It in your house with Shawn Michaels? I don't know what that was. He pulled off Butcher Vachon's leg and used it as a gimmick. Did you ever think of doing that with her? No, but um, somebody drank some beer out of, uh, out of out of a shoe once. Out of her stump. Not her. her no, pig no, no, that was, I am really, I apologize. That was like 30 years ago. Yeah. She might not even be alive. But the pig what's, might be. what's the chances her daddy owns Boeing? No kidding, right? <laughs> of all the people to pick up and bring to some it was in the paper, sleazy so. motel well, that, in Kansas why, City. That's why, it ain't sleazy. That's why Bobby, uh, uh, Bob Geigel threw the paper down <laughs> and, and it was like, do you, do you see what y'all did? <laughs> Kansas City. All right, wrestling fans, right now we're going to take a brief time out, give you a chance to head on over to bostonwrestling.com to get your tickets to the big one, Saturday night, November the 13th, Melrose, Massachusetts. We go back to the 80s. If you don't live in the area and you can't make the event, unfortunately, we're even doing mail-ins if you want a personalized autograph photo. We'll be back after this brief timeout. Where's my phone? The World Wrestling Federation was live at Meadowlands Arena in East Rutherford, New Jersey, Monday, October the 13th, 1986. In the opening contest, Ugandan giant Kamala beat leaping Lanny Poffo. Cousin Luke with the win over the Blue Demon. Steve Lombardi defeated Jim Powers. Billy Jack Haynes victorious over Tiger Chung Lee. WWF Intercontinental Champion Macho Man Randy Savage retained the title over the Honky Tonk Man via countout. George the Animal Steel beat Mr. Fuji in a tuxedo match. Coco Beware replacing the Junkyard Dog with the win over King Harley Race. Jake the Snake Roberts defeated Corporal Kirchner. Hercules victorious over Pedro Morales. And in the main event, Cowboy Bob Orton beat Rowdy Roddy Piper via disqualification. If you are in East Rutherford Live, share your memories in the comment section below. Use the links in the description box to keep wrestling legends working in our eBay store and on our world-renowned Patreon streaming service so we can bring you more interactive superstar shoot interviews to relive the good old days of professional wrestling. Check it out. Wrestling fans around the corner, around the world, I'm Dan Marotti. And I'm Mr. USA WWE Hall of Famer Tony Atlas. The road to WrestleMania has begun. Wrestling fans are looking to add to their man caves. You got to see what we have in the eBay store. Check it out. Support Wrestling Insiders in studio shoot interviews on eBay with this brand new, personally autographed WWE Royal Rumble 2021. 11 by 14 poster signed by WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns, his advocate Paul Heyman and Kevin Owens. Reigns and Owens battled for the Universal title in a last standing match January 31st in the Thunderdome in Tampa. This limited edition collector's poster is number 31 of only 50 produced. Comes with WWE authentication hologram on the poster itself. Also comes with an on-air shout out from WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas, and a bonus autographed 8x10 photo. Get this rare, awesome collectible for your man cave and help keep wrestling legends working now. Wrestling fans, especially here in the Boston area, we want to thank our great friends at Red Rose for their support for all of our charitable endeavors and programming efforts. Red Rose is two years young and extremely thankful for all the support they've had from our neighbors here in Melrose and beyond for an amazing first two years. Red Rose thanks Melrose and all of the first responders who have fought the good fight and have never given up hope during these unprecedented times. We did it together. Follow Red Rose on Facebook for their anniversary special, facebook.com backslash Red Rose Melrose. You'll be glad you did. Open until 2 a.m. Red Rose will give you fresh, piping hot 
mouth-watering food that'll put an ear-to-ear -ear smile on even the toughest critic's face. Check out their full menu online at redrosema.com or give them a call, 781-620-1889. Wrestling fans, welcome back to another exciting installment of Wrestling Inside his Party with Marty. As I try and keep Marty under control, sometimes I feel like a zookeeper on Thursday night. I can't when Marty wait for gets it. a little uh, antsy, but I he's can't. getting excited about November 13th, too. That, too. That and the live show we got tonight, which once they see which this. Which will probably be about... Six or seven weeks old by the time right, they see Right, the time they see it, yeah. I understand that you want to turn maybe Piggot into an animal. You keep talking about Piggot. Who is that? Piggot. Who? Piggot. Who? It's a, almost like Michael Jackson's song, Beat It. She's Piggot. You know the first time I met Janet? Did I tell y'all? No, uh, I never knew you met Janet. I told y'all that on TV. Uh, on Did this. you? Yeah. I don't remember that one. I had a, a China Club in New York. I I actually wanted. To, you have told many stories I guess on I'm this just show. Be rude. I don't mean to say we're over mean? a year in. What, let me have the shoes. You know, we never. One thing we should have done, Marty, is had like a year celebration for our one year anniversary. Maybe when August. we hit. Maybe when we hit it. No, it would have been July actually. Really? Maybe when we hit our hundredth episode, we'll do something special. But so Janet. All right, back to Janet Jackson. Now, was, did, did Janet fillet? Um, no. And, and, yeah, I'm sorry, Janet, but she was so rude that night. Oh, you didn't like Janet? No. Why? What was wrong with Janet Jackson? Um, she was kind of quick. You know, she wanted to do whatever she was going to do in the club, like no. get somebody or whatever. Did she sing Rhythm Nation? <laughs> no. No. No, but I, that was my girl, man. Let me push this. Marty. Well, uh, she, yeah, she, um, it was horrible, Dan. Because I was Well, I'm my sorry girl. you had a bad I, experience I, I, with her. Did you want, did you want a picture you, with her? Do or? You, you, shit. <laughs> um, but you know who else was bad? It was oh. Madonna. The Mad material girl? Yes. Well, why was she rude to Because you? she came in the, 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 the VIP club, it uh, was called China Club. Yeah. In New York City. Mm -hmm. and, and everybody went there. And if you got in the VIP, you know, you were you was with all the stars. And and you know, I was never a star, but I got no, to see you. Were. Come well, on, be serious. Okay, well, and you were um, featured on NBC specials. I mean that's that's pretty big. But one time Hulk brought Linda, you know, his his oh. ex wife. That's my phone. Give me my phone. what the fuck? They keep going. I'll, I'll have to get back to him. It's <laughs> Din Fan. Anyway, keep going, brother. What are you laughing at? <laughs> you just said that on TV. What? But, um, Din fan? No, you screamed. Oh. What did I say? What did <laughs> I scream? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, did I? I apologize, everyone. <laughs> um, Madonna, and this is known, I mean, everybody was there, but she was all over Hulk. And he had Linda. The material girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Madonna. And, and she was all over, draped. She was draping. And, you know, he, he was like, because he would have fucking shit out of her. But he was like, he had Linda, he had his wife with him. Yeah. What's your wife's name? Linda. Damn. That's weird. But so, um, yeah, she was right there, you know. He, he didn't take her on the road a lot. And, and here's Madonna just draped all over him. And, 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 you know, he was like, I love your music. I love your music. Uh, this is my wife. And she said, oh, I'd like to fuck her too. Wow. <laughs> Madonna had a little uh, LM in her. Uh, yes. <laughs> I actually lost respect for her, though. Why? L well, who, well, because he, he, told you mean? Her, he told her. Yeah. And she didn't back down. She didn't back off. Madonna wanted the sex. Yeah. Maybe she we was all thinking want about. sex, but you She was probably be... thinking about that Dick Tracy movie when she sang More. Uh, baby. More, more, <laughs> more, nothing's better than more. She wanted but, all of the Hogans. You know, I've never fucked her. Well, I'm not surprised. I, I hear she's kind of a... Uh, uh-uh, don't do that. She's kind of a hermit, from what I understand. A hermit? She doesn't like to go out much. That might be true. I don't know. I mean, I, I've never met it her. It was before. still rude, though, because Hope told her, it's my wife, and she's still draped on him. She wanted a little poontang pie. Both of them. Yeah. She wanted to fuck them both. Oh, that's all right. Imagine no, if Linda McMahon no, was there. Oh, no, he couldn't... Do you think... <laughs> 
do you think Madonna would have made the same offer? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something I shouldn't say on TV. Are we on TV? <laughs> no. Nope. See, even Phil knows. No, are we? Yeah, no. No, be honest. No, not right now, no. We're on TV We're right in a now. commercial break right now. I'll wait. <laughs> All right, no, 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 what is it now? Uh, I, told, I think I told you. Oh, let's see. The Bushwhackers. Oh, the limousine story? Yes, yeah, 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 you yeah. have told that story. <laughs> yeah, you weren't supposed to do that. What? That's one of, what are you doing, Blue Pants? We're at the segment two closing out, or is that three? We got a live two, show. Two, thank you, brother. You got to remember how bad the vision is. What time is uh, uh, Blue? Uh, oh, please blue. don't ask what time the live one is, or I'm going to lose my mind. 8.30. Oh, hopefully that's an it'll end. But um, <laughs> what was I, I? I completely lost track now. I'm thinking about uh, Linda, uh, going Linda. the route of Linda McMahon and Madonna making love. One of my girlfriends, one of my girlfriends, <laughs> Trenisha was her name. Yeah. Rocker Con, the one that um, yeah. uh, she boy, she went straight to you know. She, she asked like, how do I get ahead? And I'm like, work hard, work hard. And she goes, no, who's in charge? I'm like, well, sort of Linda McMahon. And she went right to it, meaning sex-wise. Are we on camera? Linda oh, had a little rocker. Little we rock on con. camera, God damn. Was Kurt Angle jealous that Linda McMahon made love to Rocka? Uh, you have to ask him that. Yeah. Well, he's you, a very you, happily you, married you man know what, now. You know, what, you know what she told me? What's that? Camera. Linda was like Damien's no, tail? No, 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 <laughs> About Kurt. Oh, all right. Well, what did she say about Kurt? I, I, he, beat, he beat her up. Oh. That's that's a. I, don't think I you, lost a lot of respect for him for that, if true. You know, if but, true. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Cause I'm. But you, you know what? Now that you mention it, I do remember him yeah, running into some the news, yeah. legal issues. Yeah, he had a bad drug problem at one point. No, My you interaction didn't. Pain, with pain pills. Yeah, I remember it was it was sad enough. We got pain. Problems. It's sad that I remember the date, <clears throat> but it was the day. Well, you don't remember of the Benoit. Date. Of what? And, uh, the Benoit incident. You know the Benoit incident. Yeah, of yeah. course. TNA did four house shows up here for the very first time in New England, and I helped promote them. Oh, and you did? I did. How'd you do that? Because they needed help locally. I knew you loved Jim Cohen. Ed Cohen. I, <laughs> I don't know Jim Cohen. But anyway, I remember that Sunday afternoon, that morning, yeah. Linda and I took the kids up to Hampton Beach, which is like... Your uh, Linda or Linda? My Linda, yeah. Okay. For, um, you would, I'm trying to think of what I could compare it to. They have like a lot of arcades and rides. And so that morning we did, you know, some fun stuff Things, for the kids. Yeah. And then about, I don't know, 2 o'clock, whatever the call time was, I went to the, it's called the Hampton Beach. You might even work there because Vince would run there. Yeah. The Hamptons, WWE, the Hampton we, we Beach did go Casino, to Hamptons, yeah. yeah. It was that venue. TNA was running it. And um, I don't remember how what I was doing, but Angle came in, and we were just kind of shooting the breeze. You, you would love Kurt. Oh, well, you know. met him, you said. Well, yeah, this was the fourth day of the four-day Kurt, tour. Kurt, Kurt's a good brother. And we were talking about next, because I was explaining to him what was wrong with mine because of my car accident. And he was telling me about his, and we were sharing neck problems. And yeah, because he had that fucked up yeah, neck. Yeah. And I remember the Dudleys. Uh, come here. What's wrong with them? No, before the show, I guess someone had the internet. Yeah. And um, the news broke that Benoit was missing the pay-per-view. And they were like, wow. Oh, but, yeah. For a guy to miss a pay-per-view payoff, something serious must be going on. They thought an illness or an injury at last minute or something like that. And then I'll remember it was about 4 o'clock the next afternoon. I got a text message from a friend of mine down in Florida that said, go online and see what happened. And I was just... I'm um, sure we'll get there at some point, but my God, because I had known her. Yeah, that her, was hard, brother. I knew her as Nancy Sullivan from when she was married to Kevin. Right, yeah. Um, but Benoit I didn't know as well. Benoit I had met a few times do you, do with you know, WWE. Do you know New Jack was fucking her a lot? Woman? Yeah. Oh, I knew they were very good friends, but I didn't know it was a sexual thing. I'm not necessarily I'm gonna, surprised. I'm going to name three names to you to see if you knew it. That he, he, the New Jack used to fuck. All right. Terry Reynolds. Uh, that one we spoke quite a bit about. Okay. Um, um, gosh, Nancy, I guess, now can no, be at the Well, list. her too, but um, fuck. The blonde hair, oh, God damn it. ECW? Yes. Um, Sonny? No. 
He might have fucked her too. Blonde dude. one. Francine was kind of brown. No, 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 Dawn no, Marie no, was no, brown. No, 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 man. And she was pretty back in her younger days. Chastity? Younger. The one that was with Sandman? Yeah, back in her younger days, she was beautiful. She was the best looking girl there is. Back in her day. Um, God damn. Fuck is my phone? Where's my phone, brother? Um, uh, no, I'm trying. I want to see if I can remember. I'm trying to think. Blonde head. I can't. I very can't. beautiful and easy. Are you sure she was an ECW? I know she was, and she was. And she was beautiful. When Help in the back if you guys can think of it. When she was A younger. Blonde head valet in ECW. Yeah, I can't. Uh, Annie? Who? <laughs> no, um. Annie. No, it wasn't uh, no, Annie. No, no. Her, it was um. God fucking damn it. Terry Ronalds gave him the Annie treatment though. Um, yeah, he was mad about that. She was. <laughs> she wasn't blonde. Um, Fuck. Beulah. No. 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 She was kind of brown haired. I keep wanting to say Nicola. It's not Let Nicola. Though. Not Nicole Bass, no. I hope. No, no, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean nothing bad by that. Um, she was the prettiest girl back in. She was the first one that started all the diva shit. And you're not talking about Missy Hyatt? No. Yes. Oh, Missy yes. Hyatt. Oh. Yes. He had relations with her? He fucked her. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, good for New Jack. And I think, Matt Daddy, you gave me the wrap-up signal for second two, the segment two, did you not? Oh, no, let me go. All right, wrestling fans, we're going to take a brief time out. We'll be back with more Wrestling Insiders as we try to get to Survivor Series 1990. Stand and he's, by. Got, he's got my phone. Tickets are on sale now for our 20th anniversary Back to the 80s and 90s WrestleFest Birthday Bash, Saturday, November the 13th at Memorial Hall in Melrose, Massachusetts. Wrestling fans around the corner, around the world, I'm Dan Marotti. And I'm John Cena Sr. Johnny, the momentum here in Boston wrestling continues as we continue to build and build and build. The fans want to know, how do we help? We subscribe to the Patreon, but we see all the great merchandise on that set. Coronavirus may have killed the nightlife, especially for someone like Marty, but, but our acclaimed eBay store is open 24-7 around the world. Wow. Check it out. At Night of Champions 2020, Tribal Chief Roman Reigns successfully defended the WWE Universal Championship against his cousin, Jey Uso, in a must-see battle. Here is your chance to own a piece of Roman Reigns' moments before battle on this beautiful limited edition autographed 11 by 14 poster direct from friends at WWE. It's number 19 of only 50 made. Includes WWE authentication hologram on the poster itself. Suitable for framing and matting, you'll also also receive a bonus Legends autographed 8x10 photo in an on-air shout-out on Wrestling Insiders as our thanks for helping keep Wrestling Legends working. Get this ultra-rare Roman Reigns autograph poster now! Ah, uh, see <laughs> Why, hello! I would ask what was on your mind, but I already know. You want to know what has got my beard looking oh so majestic. And I'll tell you, it's sexy as hell, beard king. Coconut oil, vitamin E oil, almond oil, both sweet and bitter, shea butter, it's all natural. Yes, JTG has actually come out with a high quality product. So support your boy by going to sahbeardcare.com and take one step closer to becoming sexy as hell. <laughs> cheer. <laughs> Ooh, cheer. <laughs> you know? <laughs> wrestling fans, welcome back to Wrestling Insiders. We're going to talk now seriously about focused on Survivor Series 1990, the event Thanksgiving night, Hartford, Connecticut. Did you miss being with the Genetis on Thanksgiving? You know I like you, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know what happened that night. No, I mean, did you, was it on a holiday like that, did you miss being with your family? I hate to say this on, on, on TV, I might have been drunk. Oh, well, I wouldn't be surprised, but did you, did you miss being with your family? Yes, yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Now, did you, the, wait a minute, did you miss me? I wasn't there, so and I you, didn't know you yet, so, so that you would be difficult. Me? 
I watched you. Hey, Eric Clapton's here. No, 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 no. We got to focus on Survivor Series okay. 90. We're running right, so out of what time. What do you want to know? Uh, well, well, for example, what did WWE do? Would they put out like a little Thanksgiving spread for you guys? Or they always did, uh, they still do, uh, as far as they I know. They just give out, put out turkeys uh, catering. every week. They call it catering. Yeah, but I mean tur turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> every week they put <laughs> not, out turkeys. Not turkey. <laughs> It's a little odd. You know, in August, they'd be giving out turkeys and catering. But <laughs> oh, boy, do we have fun. Are we going to have... We cannot mess with Sasha. Is she married? Yes. How do you know? Because I know the man she's married to. Uh, who He's is one it? of the seamstresses for WWE. No, that's Julia and... and, and, and no, he and does it too. It's a dude... Yeah, he used to be an indie worker. How do you know that? I've been around them. Okay. But anyway, so, so they gave we, you a, we, a nice we thing. We can't mess with Sasha? No. Uh, they gave would you, you? Like I said, if under different circumstances, in a different world, if she ever came to me and you, had a certain you, request, you, I don't know if I, I don't think I could deny her. She's a, a lovely cer woman. A certain, no, you got mad at her. From what I've heard from... Fans and, and from what I've heard that way, Sasha, from people you're a great worker. in the office, stop it. there are certain things about her that can be difficult. Okay. But the person that I knew on the Knock Indies, it off. she was delightful. Delightful. Huh? She was delightful. All right. So back to Survivor Series 90. You had your nice turkey spread. Did you guys, were you trying to figure out what was going to pop out of the egg? And when did you realize it was going to be a gobbly gobble? Never. <laughs> what do you mean now? We never knew, what's his name, um, Guerrero was going to pop out of that motherfucking egg. It's going to languish. I'm going to pop out of that uh, did, egg. Did any of you guys see him get in the egg? Did no, you know? No, so it was a no. surprise to everybody. Yeah. What was the reaction in the locker room like? When that thing came well, out of the egg. It wasn't a big deal. No. But it was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. And poor Mean Gene had to go in the ring and do -si do with the gobbly gook. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, what's his name? Guerrero. Uh, he was a good brother. Chavo? Uh, Ch was it Chavo? It wasn't no, Chavo. it was, uh, there you uh, go. Hector, yeah. Um, you, you know, he, he, he fucked Pam Anderson, and I never, I've never. Hector Guerrero? Yes. And I never have, and he got it first. Oh, shit. Is it, wow. Are we on TV again? I'm kind of, I'm yeah. not good for Hector, but I just, that would be. I'm going to take my tooth out, y'all. Oh. There it's it is. It's going to be available in the raffle hey, Saturday uh, night, uh, November Dan, the 13th, Dan, for the Dan, Paul Bearer Dan. Holiday Headlocks Toy Drive. You look handsome as hell. <laughs> All right, let's continue with Survivor Series. Okay. It was the last night of our buddy Bill Eady. It was Ultimate Warrior, Kerry Von Erich, who, even though he lost, the Love Intercontinental it. title at the TV taping still had the belt in the Legion of Doom against Mr. Perfect and all three members of Demolition. Bill Eady saw the writing on the wall. Yeah, crushed. Um, they went back to the face paint for the last night, which was nice. And Bill Eady was pinned, and off he went, never to be seen or heard from, now in 31 years almost in WWF. He was on the show. Not with WWE. No, with you. Oh, yeah. Well, I love Bill Eady. Yeah, he's a, good, he's a good brother. It was a sad ending to what I consider the greatest tag team in WWF history. No. Yes. No. Well, we disagree respectfully. Road Warriors. No. Not in Road Warriors. Here's the thing about Road Warriors. Road go. Warriors beloved the pop unreal, but everything they did was almost identical. Let me tell it you. It was the same match <clears throat> every night. In okay, every promotion. Because they couldn't do much. They didn't have to do much. Well, Bill Let and Barry you, could work a variety of styles. Yeah, they didn't do, you know what? I had to work against them. They yeah. didn't do shit either. There's well, I disagree punch, with kick, you. punch kick, punch kick, punch kick. Ow. At oh, least God. they'd sell. Oh, fuck that hurt. At least they'd sell and take bumps. Did you ever see Joe and Mike bump? I mean, you'd have to hit them with a concrete brick. Uh, I'm going to tell you if you give me a minute. All that right, hurt, well, that we bear your foot. Ah, shit. I don't know what Angelo thinks. Um, Quincy was out of control. One time we was in Chicago. Yeah. Um, and the biggest arena at the, the time. The Rosemont Horizon? Yes. Yeah. And, 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 and me and Hawk were real good friends. We did a lot of cocaine together. Yeah. And we, we a lot was, of medicine. Yeah, a lot of medicine. Yeah. And we're sitting there. And the first time I had been with him at, at Chicago, 
And when you come out, it's like a little stage. You come out, and it's over the whole arena. And he goes, what's this? And he walked out, and the whole fucking place went crazy. And, I, and that, that was my first time. I'd never been to um, um, Chicago before, um, that place, Rosemont. And I'm like, oh my God, they went fucking crazy. Their formula worked great in moderation. You know what, Paul? Once it was overexposed, you, you know who people made get... A, who? Paul... Ellering? This. Why? Because he had the Wall Street Journal? No, because no. he taught them what to do. He taught them, mm, 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 y'all are too big, don't let... Can I, can I say ninja? You can say ninja, yes. Uh, he told them, don't worry about none of these ninjas. Just do this. And that's what they did. They beat the shit. That, how do you think And that formula over? worked great when you have a television program consumed of squash matches. That's great. But when it comes time for the steak and potatoes, okay, you well, can't well, have well, the well, same well, match steak, over and over steak again. Steak and potatoes, you, you ask. But let me ask you this. You didn't think them, them boys were bad? I'm not saying they weren't. I, I'm, I'm not disagreeing you. with that I'm for a second. I'm asking you. I do think they were bad. Yeah. What I'm saying is... What are you saying? Look at their run they had with Vince when they came back in 97. And they were on weekly TV against quote-unquote competitive tag team competition. Well, no, they could no, not no, no, no. have only, those same matches every week or it was, was boring. was me and Sean, and we were done at 1992-ish. You guys finished, yeah, early, early, early. Nobody can hang with them, brother. I love Demo. I lo that's my boys. I'm not saying, I, I'm not trying to knock Legion of Doom. They I'm just are. saying what they did was, it you was the same match you over they... and over again. What they did was that's phenomenal. All they, that's all they got to do. But once you've seen it, how many times do you want to go back for more? No, Demolition, there was no, always phone. something. No, that's mine. There was something I don't think it was, always but, different with Demolition. There it is. You look um, at Demo's body of work on different pay-per-views, different big Dan, events. What, what it was want, always different and unique. What do you want me to say? We just disagree. Respectfully. They tore up everybody. You're talking about LOD now? Yeah. Or the demos? Yeah. Well, no, no, not demo. Um, they tore everybody up. And I understand that Bam. was the gimmick that worked. Okay, okay. But how brother, many times brother, did you want to see the same thing? How many damn different matches does Ric Flair do? He, he he fits that same quota, only he'd go longer. That's all you got to do when you know how to do it. Well, with Flair, he had a little bit more variety of opponents. You know, because wrestle, most promotions only had a handful. You of know, tag my teams. first year in the bit. What time's our live show? Oh, eight o'clock. <laughs> eight. Uh, yes. Huh? What time is it? What time is it? Eight fifteen. Now? Yeah. Sorry, y'all. We gotta go in a minute. Um, Rick, uh, my first year in the business. My yeah. first year in the business. And, and old Sean jumped up on me and said, "Ah, you ain't never had a match with Rick Flair." I was like, "Bitch!" <laughs> Before you ever suck Vince's oh, shit. Did I just say that? Yeah. That's all right. Rewind that, please. Um, yeah, hear it again. Before, yeah. oh, how do I fix that? No, no, it's we'll take care of it. Don't worry. Are you going to edit? No, we're not. Of course we will. Um, but, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, so I don't get one of your nasty Facebook messages. Yeah, it it's Ed. not nasty. I'm trying to be I'm trying to. Well, you've said it about you got you've no edited it once or twice no in every episode. Why ain't you got no T-shirts? You're right about that. Hmm. Fans at home, if you're in the premiere chat. Do you want Potty with Marty t-shirts? Let us know. Orga or orgasm donor. I am not going to print that. Yes, you are. Uh, you can print those yourself. Are you going to sell them? No. Do no. I? Yeah, orgasm. You know what you got the red cross? November 13th, you need to be an orgasm donor with Pig. <laughs> but anyway. Hey, uh, I got to tell you about this. No, we got to get back to Survivor Series now. Okay. People want us to try okay, and stay okay. on track. Okay, okay, no, they don't. Did but you, okay. was it known that it was going to be Bill's last night? Bill, who's Bill? Bill Eady. Demolition? Yeah. No. You didn't no. know it was going to no. be his last Nobody night. Nobody knew that. Do you, as a tag team wrestler, were you smart like Bill? And did you see the writing on the wall that things were going to go downhill real quick for Demolition? Because he said no. Barry did not. No. And you know why it went downhill? 
Road Warriors came in. I think the problem it was, was over. They should have. It was a makeup team. They should have built up LOD against Axis Smash. I love Smash Bill. You know that, right? And I know I you do. Definitely I know you love do. Uh, Bar uh, Barry. Be a yeah, great human. Two of show. my favorite human beings. Yeah, in he's great. Yeah, great. I guy. love them and both. And Crush was a good brother. I might have met him I once or twice. I loved them. I loved them, but they were a makeup because Vince couldn't get. He couldn't get. They were the Road Warriors, first of all. And he couldn't get that yeah. name because they kept the name. So Legion of Doom came in. They were very smart in the way they presented yeah, that because Vince couldn't own that either because yeah. they, they had prior yeah. usage. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is that saying? Bill Eady said he saw the writing on the wall, that demolition was going to be pissed on and jobbed out, so he wound up leaving. Barry did not see that, so he stayed with Crush. Not true. That's what Bill said. Let me tell you what happened one time. Tell me what happened. Okay. I was in uh, Austria. I think I told y'all. Oh, no, no, no. We don't need to repeat that story the again. The part where, but you don't know Bill this. Bill saved you. Yes, he did. Yes. Uh, the pit bulls had to tie his sheets together. Yes, it was like the hangover. And let snuck me, out and of the it, hotel. Is that what they You've did? told the story. Yep, we know that one. But no, I, I'm at, we're talking tag team wrestling now, and you okay. were a tag team specialist. Okay. There were only a few teams in the division, what, maybe eight to ten. Oh, no. um, they ain't got none no more. Well, no shoot, kidding, right? They've destroyed tag team wrestling. But it's a beautiful, <laughs> it, it, at its best, it, it's a beautiful art form. I love tag team it, wrestling. It, it's the best but, because you got four, well, you should know, you own, and this is what you need for your company. You got four guys to do what two guys could do. Yeah, it adds to the magic. It yeah. adds to the variety. It, it adds to the creativity. That's why I've always been such a big have proponent you, of a good tag fucked, team division. Have you fucked anybody since um, your, your your lady, uh, Linda? Your lady, your Linda. What about her? Have you fucked anybody since? Do you think we, I'm really going to get into that on the air where the kid is probably watching? Oh, you think so? Uh, most of the time. I'm sorry, brother. I but, remember but the time. You, I don't even you? know if I told you this one, but when we were in Florida and I went to take a shower. Yeah, you went to Orlando. Uh, he had a party with Marty on. And I said, oh, what did you think of it? He said, I heard things I've never heard in my life. And I said, well, what are you talking about? He said, oh, Annie. That was you now. I didn't do that. He had never re heard of that uh, physical activity before <laughs> at his age. And his mother was not thrilled and said he better not go back why to school using that phrase. Huh? Do, you, do you love her? Oh, please, Marty. Why do we have to get into this? No, let's do it I right love now. her as a human okay, being. Okay, she's absolutely. watching right now. Do you love her? I love her as a human being, absolutely. As a human she knows being. What the fuck I else still let her use be? one of my credit cards. So what more can you say? Do you love her? <laughs> I do, as a human being, yes. What the fuck could I ever mean? Could I ever be in the position of living with Linda? Mm -mm. No. Is she, is she I a, enjoy Linda in moderation. She, is she ugly? No. Then why the fuck I thought you that? said you saw her. I did. She was out here in front of the building. Well, what are you asking me for if she's ugly? I thought she was pretty. Well, I, I do too. I you don't like her. It... Well, there's more variables that go into it than whether I think she's pretty or not. We're going variables. How do you spell that? V-A-R-I-A-B-L-E-S, I think, as you put me on the yeah, spot. Yeah, I, I think you got it. Um, Don't but you no, anyway, back, huh? Marty, how many times do you want me to answer the I'm same more, question? I'm going to ask you something. I shouldn't ask you something on TV. Uh, that's Aaron. If you're not gay, why don't you love her? Because I'm think, telling I think you, she I do. You. No, she doesn't. Don't you should have so. seen the text argument we had this morning. That don't mean nothing. Huh? That don't mean nothing. That's just an argument. Well, when they're every day, yeah. But anyway. Um, so as far as demolition went, yeah. did you think Barry Are and... Are we on TV? Yeah. Okay. Did you think that Smash and Crush made a credible version of demolition without X? I like them. I like them, but no. No. You think that's when they started to lack? You what? When they started to lack. Thank you, sir. When it was you Job got, you City. You still got them blue shorts on. When it was Job City. For us? No, for them. They never Demolition. Jobbed. They never jobbed. After Bill left? Who, who jobbed? I don't know who was taking the pinfalls. They were losing every night. None of them. You no, guys had a, a, you were on the loops with them. They were putting you over every night. Mm -mm. Barry and We Crush. never beat them. 
Smash and crush? We never You went over that. on them every night. Mm -hmm. All right. After Bill left. What do you want me to do? Say yeah? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, good. <laughs> At least you're right now. Um, well, unfortunately, we got to start to wrap up this show. Uh, oh, I guess TV? we're going to have to Gosh, continue with it. Survivor Series next time. Uh, Marty, we, we really, really, really have to start to stay on topic more show? about things. The fans get frustrated with us. No, the fans, don't. yes, they do. And then they say they, you know, we don't want to see the viewership drop. We have to stay on target. If you start sharing it. If I start sharing what? I share everything. You don't share it at all. Because you, you embarrass me sometimes. I'm only putting on the show where you talk. <laughs> you are not a puppet. My hand is not up his back making him speak. About Linda McMahon in China Stop having, that. making love. <laughs> uh, hey, I never saw, uh, I can't say this on TV. I never saw Linda, oh um, boy, I can't say this. I never saw her lick pussy. Yeah. Just I secondhand she, but, stories. But she did. Yeah. Lots of it. Now you don't know that. Lots of it. Um, it was like Thanksgiving with all the time. One of my girlfriends. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, Rocka Khan. Linda used to get rats? Oh, Rocka Khan? Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. There was a lot of rocking going She's on. She's not Rocka a rat, Khan. though. Don't, take no, I, rat. no I, didn't know you that, I didn't know you meant someone that was in the business. I wouldn't have said that about yeah. her. Uh, because I know, again, she, she had, was with Angle for a and while. You know, and you know what? Um, shit, we're still on TV. But you know what? It was, um, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I, I didn't like, because I, I trained her. Yeah. I trained her. And, 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 and Hugh Morris got mad at me. Was it Hugh Morris? Who was the one in Bill Atlanta? Bill DeMott. Oh, yeah, Bill, Bill he, DeMott. He did yeah. work as Hugh I Morris. I love you, Bill, and you know that. We partied so many damn times. I knew him and, through Tony Rumble, yeah. yeah I like And Bill. we fucked so many girls, me well, and you and Jimmy Powers. I didn't Powers. know that. But. We fucked so many girls. How you going to get mad at me? What did he get I'm mad at? I'm actually getting mad at you right now. But, what do um, you have heat with them about? Because he got mad at uh, Trinesha, her name's Trinesha, but Raka Khan. Yeah. He got mad at her because she, she took a tape, and the Miz, even the Miz, wanted to study it. They wanted to see it. They wanted to do this shit. And he got mad. He, was, he got mad. Like, fuck y'all, go, go to Marty then. Well, the so you How, what kind just of coach is that? So just in case I understand this right, they were training at the Deep South? Training center in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, wherever the fuck that was, Atlanta. And Jody Hamilton and Hugh Morris were no, running that. No, it was Hugh. Well, Jody was involved in it. Well, I think maybe. he owned it. I don't it. know yeah. about that. But, uh, and John Laurinaitis closed it when they brought it down to Steve Curran and FCW. But, so they brought tapes of your work to Deep South Trinesha to watch? did. Trinesha did. Okay. And Hugh Mar uh, Bill DeMott took offense he got to it? Yeah. Hmm. Because Miz wanted to see, they wanted, this is when Miz... It was for his fucking Crystal, and Crystal was like, I, yeah, I told you, I like Crystal. Who's Chris? Oh, Crystal Marsh. Yes. Okay, yeah. And, 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 you know, but she was too young and shit. And, and Michael, I think you're off on that. But not. I <laughs> Brother, know. I, I know exactly I, She's what older happened. than Bobby, I'm pretty sure. Not, not then, not yet. Not then. Well, she's let already, me tell you something. She's always going to be biologically older than Bobby. Maybe. But, but that's it, fine. She's That's never, fine. He's never going to leapfrog her. Her age is never going to pause. Okay. I Bobby's no, 44, I, I, I think. I got nothing to do with that. And if you met her in 2006, she would have been 32, not 21, like mm. Michael Hayes said. Mm, Michael said 21. Well, he was wrong. She won 32. She's older than Bobby. She's and probably Bobby's 32 44. now. No. Okay. Won't you let's Google it? Yeah. For, All right, wrestling you fans. You finish your story about that. And we're going to wrap this up because I I, I got a challenge. I, I, well, uh, Eight thirty. What time is the show? We we're running out of time real quick. Wrestling fans, I want you to pop on your phones. Head on over to BostonWrestling.com. Get those VIP <laughs> packages and tickets as we go back to the eighties for WrestleFest as we celebrate twenty. 20 2 0. Big Man. years of Boston Wrestling MWF when we go back to the 80s for WrestleFest. 
Saturday night, November the 13th, Memorial Hall. We're going to be joined by an all-star panel of legends, including this man right here that always likes to rock. Well, you know what? We're both wrong. I told you she was 21. I know what age she was. Michael told me to leave her alone. No, no. I 21, I ain't got no doubt. I, I, no doubt. I always thought she was older than Bobby. Okay. And I, am, I you know what? When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I, I apologize to you. Are Mike. you wrong? I am wrong. I apologize. <laughs> she may have been a little north of 21, but she was right in that vicinity. At the most 23. I don't know why I thought she was older than Mikey, Bobby. Mikey told me, um, I'm sorry, Mikey. Uh, Michael told me, he, he said, Marty, stop. She's 21. That's never stopped you before, though. No, 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 but Mike, I, you I, had a trust, little Mike. Fan I trust Mike. Yeah, yeah. You know? All right, wrestling fans. What, what, and and what she had a hell, uh, probably still does. And I can't say this because I love Bobby. Bobby's my boy. Bobby's uh, a good, 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 yeah, good, he's good, a, good, yeah, good. He's a good one. He's a good man. Crystal had a, she had a hell of an ass. When she walked by, you had to move back. Well, you know what? I question her as a person. One. Where Bobby has custody of both of their kids. How often do you see that? What happened there? That I don't know. To be I'm honest. sorry, y'all. I didn't know that. I I'm didn't. Sorry. I just think that that's questionable to me. I guess is the way to put it. So you're saying she's a hoe? I don't know if that had anything to do with it. All I know is He's that Bobby. He's got the kids. That means she's a hoe. Bobby has custody of them, so that makes. So me, she's a hoe. Something had to be up. She's a hoe. I don't, I don't know if she's a hoe. Why ain't she got the kids? I wasn't in the court. I don't always know. always gets the kids. I know, and that's why I find it so surprising. Where's the phone? Let me call And Bobby's a where's great dad. Where's my phone, brother? He's a fantastic dad. And Bobby, I love Bobby. Where's, oh, my, where's my he's phone? He's someone that he's one of the types that you'd say. One of the best. He's one of the best. He's one where's of the, my no, phone, but listen, brother? He's one of the types where you'd say he doesn't belong in the wrestling business. He's that good of a guy. Even though he's one of the most phenomenal athletes, the sport has ever seen. As far and, as his and heart know, goes, and you know he's he one of the best human beings I've met in the business. You met him? He worked for us down the street. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, I love him, man. He was oh. so nice to me. He, he does so, so much great work for underprivileged kids. But in I Denver. can't believe Chris was a whore. I don't, I'm not saying that. You I don't said know that he's to got be the true. kids. She didn't want that the kids. I know to be true, yes. So she didn't want the kids, it makes her a whore. Why well, would you I don't want know your kids? that she's a whore. I don't know that she didn't Why want them. Why didn't you keep your kids? I don't know the circumstances. Doesn't That's matter. all I can say. Girls Maybe always Quincy, get them. Do you think Quincy was involved? I don't know who that is. Quincy was the one that was talking to Phil a few minutes ago that had the it was rather large pouch. Al Snow's was, friend. Was it a girl? Huh? Was it a girl? Quincy? No. We, we were, you you took pictures dude. with him a minute ago. The big dude. Yeah, he had like a pouch. Like Quincy! Chris, Qu Quincy. Quincy. <laughs> He'll, he'll come I back. I think Crystal though. might be a hoe. <laughs> I think Quincy might know the answer. If he, she let her kids go, fuck her. And you know why else I, I think really he's a good guy? I really liked her. I liked her so much. You know why I liked her so much? Why? Because she was attractive? No, I wanted her to fuck her. But, um, but if she's like that... You just, you almost never see it happen. And when, you know... I got to know Bobby and his story a little bit. No, well, he didn't. actually, fun time. We, um, you know, he was involved Is in MMA. Is this going to be on TV? Yeah. You know, oh. he was involved in MMA pretty heavy. Yes. One year for my birthday, me, him, Quincy, uh, Jay Freddy, who, com who competes in Japan from time to time, and the chairman you of the. You ain't M never been to Japan. And I've never. I want, oh, do I want to? And the chairman of the MWF, Neil Manoli, and we all watched a UFC fight at uh, Hooters hey, let me tell after you, an let event. Me, let me tell you something. Are we on TV? Yeah. But please don't lean on the table. <laughs> One time, me and Ro uh, you know who Robert Morton is, Rock and Roll Express. Yeah. Take them blue really? pants Really? We're down. getting close? All right, we got... Okay, I'll hurry. One time, we was in uh, Tokyo. We yeah. was in, in Japan. And it was his birthday. And I love Wednesdays? Robert. Huh? Oh no, okay. I'm sorry. I think yeah. you meant Quincy. Uh, Robert, yeah, and, and, and I love him, man. He's he's like the best brother in the world. But I, I hooked him up with this it's it's Japanese hard. woman. Yes, it's yeah. hard to get Japanese girls. Oh really? It's, yeah. It's real hard. Really? Yeah. And I hooked him up though. And and the next day he was like 
he said, because we're on TV. I, I, I actually, okay, I'm sorry y'all have to hear this. I was fucking my, I was fucking my girl, yeah. and she was making noise, yeah. and he was you know, right here, like like tap on the wall, he's right here. <laughs> and, and he was fucking the girl that I set him up with, and he's tapping the wall back, because she was, she was making noise. It's almost like a horror movie. I'm so embarrassed almost right like now. a horror I, movie here in the Knox on the wall. <laughs> was there, uh, to, respectfully, was there not much of a rat scene in Japan? It's so hard, because they don't appreciate Japanese really? people don't now. Nah, they don't want you to um, be with the girls. You know why? Cause you got little dicks, and in American they were guys afraid the white little, man, uh, yeah, would, right. would humble them. And yeah. and and, <laughs> and white guys got a dick like this. Yeah. And black guys got a dick like this. Forget about that. They they got a little. You know, and I love all my my yeah. people. Well, and and their genitalia size. Uh, all right, wrestling fans, it was another episode where we got through almost absolutely nothing that we had intended to. Uh, we hope to have a more focused Marty on the next episode, uh, but enjoyable. If you want to talk about enjoyable, though, Marty, we get a call, so my live fav- show, one of live my favorite, yes, 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 show, yes, live yes, show. Yes, that's going to be seven weeks old by the time this airs, my Okay. You. But one of my well, favorite holidays is coming up. I love yeah. Halloween. I am headed to Orlando, Florida. To go to Halloween Horror Nights with Linda Marotti and the Brood this weekend, so I look forward to I'll that. I'll see you. Y'all still love each other. Uh, we're going to Orlando, Florida together, and you know who is going to be good. down there at the same time for Halloween Horror Nights? The um, man whose peace could pass as a ha- horror treat, John Cena Senior. He loves the Halloween horror stuff, so him and I are going to be there at the same time. You're a weirdo. Why am I a weirdo? Because you like him. He's a great guy. I like outside too, of the North like Carolina that. inside job stuff, outside of him you know, trying to but bond the company. But y'all going down there? I'm in Jacksonville. You can't come right over and come see me? From North Carolina? It's not like it's next oh, door. Oh, I thought you said but that. I'm guessing, I'm sorry. Well, I guess we're running out of time. For Marty Gennetti, hey. I am Dan Marotti. We will see you live. No, we're not going to see you live Sunday night. I'm going to be in Florida. But we'll oh, definitely we'll see right you now. Tuesday night for Wrestling Insiders Extreme, our new series. We have shows seven days a week, but it all rounds out with the main event Thursday nights at 10 after Dark Side of the Ring and Impact on AXS TV. We party with Marty on Wrestling Insiders. Eric for Marty Gennetti, I'm Dan Marotti, Yara Clapton, Quincy Rustani, <laughs> Matt in his socks, Angelo. Good night from Boston. Who, who won the Braves game? Thank you for joining us. Please give the video a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel to enjoy more great content. Don't forget, you can help keep wrestling legends working. Check out our eBay store and join the Boston Wrestling family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling so we can produce more in-depth shoot interviews.